Good morning all. My name is Poonam Swapnil Zadav. Working as assistant professor in Department of Computer Engineering, AISSMS IOIT Pune. Today, we are going to see the testing life cycle, the phases of testing under software engineering course. Software testing life cycle is a testing process that is executed in a planned manner. Different activities are carried out in STLC process to improve the quality of the product. The testing life cycle consists of the phases, requirement analysis, test planning, test case development, environment setup, text execution, test cycle closure. Here are the steps that are involved in the software testing life cycle. Let us see each step in detail. Requirement Analysis Quality Assurance Team understand the requirement in terms of what we need to test and what are the testable requirements. If any conflict or missing data is there, then they communicate it with the Business Analyst System Architect Client Technical Manager Lead to understand the requirement in a better way. Test Planning Test planning is most important phase of software testing life cycle where all testing strategy is defined. This phase is also called as test strategy phase. Test manager or test lead involved to determine the effort and cost estimate for the entire project. Based on the requirement analysis, the test plan will be prepared. Once the test planning is done, the QA team can start with the test cases development activity. Now test case development. It is started once the test planning activity is finished. Testing team write down the detailed test cases. Testing team also prepares the test data if any required, if it is required for testing. Once the test cases are ready, then these test cases are reviewed by the peer members or the QA lead. Also, the requirement traceability matrix that is RTM is prepared. The requirement traceability matrix is an industry accepted format for tracking the requirement where each test case is mapped with the requirement. With this RTM, we can track the forward traceability as well as the backward traceability. Now, test environment setup. Test environment decide on which conditions the software is tested. This is independent activity and can be started parallel with test case development. Test team is not involved in the process of setting up the testing environment. Based on the company to company, the customer or the developer create the testing environment. Meanwhile, while testing team should prepare the smoke test cases to check the Readiness of the test environment setup. Test execution. Testing team start executing the test cases based on the prepared test planning. Once the test case is passed, then the same can be marked as passed. If any test case is failed, then the corresponding defect can be reported to the developer team via bug tracking system and bug can be linked for corresponding test case for further analysis. Ideally, every failed test case should be associated with at least single bug. Using this linking, we can get the failed test case with bug associated with it. Once the bug is fixed by the development team, then the same test case can be executed based on your test plan. If any of the test cases are blocked due to defects such as test case can be marked as blocked. So we can report based on how many test cases are passed, how many are failed, how many are blocked and how many are not. Once the defects are fixed, same failed or blocked test cases can be executed again to retest the functionality. Next is test Cycle closure. Testing team members meeting and evaluate the cycle completion criteria based on test coverage, quality, cost, time, critical business objectives and software. Discuss about 
what all went good which areas need to be improved and talking taking the lessons from the current cycle as input to upcoming test cycle so this all is discussed in a retrospective meeting the test case and bug report will analyze to find out the defect distribution by its type and the severity once complete the test cycle then the test closure report and the test matrix will be prepared test result analysis to find out the defect distribution by the type and the severity in this way we have seen the software testing life cycle for the testing the particular application to get a quality software thank you